You ready for it? We got an email asking us to help with a zebu calf who was born with no use of her back legs. Hi. Oh, they put the kisses. A little spa day for you. We didn't know much about zebus at that point, only that they were some sort of cow. Our mission is to rescue animals that are born with genetic ailments or they're ill and unfit. We had to make sure that our vet was willing to work with zebu because they are kind of a rare breed. Angel does not have the ability to extend or flex the muscles of her rear limbs. They are in a locked position. We did get a second opinion, and she confirmed that surgery wasn't an option for her. She wasn't moving a whole lot. She wouldn't get up and walk around. There was one day we were just kind of holding her back end up, and immediately she just started walking. Like, her front legs were just going really fast. And so from then on, we knew that she had that fight in her. We knew that she wanted to run and that she had that energy to do it. We were ready to get her cart. I had different hopes. I thought the cart was going to be a setback for Angel, but there was no setback for her. Angel's cart is rented, so it's not a perfect fit since it is made for dogs. The cart's a little bit unlevel because her body isn't shaped exactly like a dog. We definitely want to introduce her to the outside world as much as possible because that's what's natural for her. But I feel like right now, she's probably a housebound cow. Good morning, Angel. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Good morning. 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 Good Davey's a gentle giant. He's kind of a lazy dog. Angel likes to lick his ears. We we'll just lay there and like look at her. Sawyer is a little spunky dog. He gets bursts of energy when Angel comes around. They start playing together and he kind of throws his head around a little bit. And it works out great because that's exactly how Angel plays. She may be a little confused thinking that they're cows too or that she's a dog maybe. And then there's Jet, the cat. Angel loves Jet, loves to clean Jet's ears, and Jet will lay there and tolerate it. And she loves doing her little puzzle to, to find her grain. I think she really enjoys it. The single most thing that excites Angel is gonna be her bottle. It is like pure joy. Oh, look at that milk mustache. Cows like Angel tend to buck when they're excited, which she does, which isn't, you know, perfect for the wheel she's in. But eventually, it'll need to go bigger than it can right now. So as she grows, her cart will grow, and we'll get something kind of custom made for her. A custom car for her would mean the best mobility and more comfort for her, really. All right, Angel, let's get you outside. The ground. Um, she doesn't get around as well out there. The wheels, uh, she can't really get a lot of traction. There's a lot more obstacles when we'd have her outside. Since Angel's a miniature zebu and handy capable, she wouldn't necessarily fit in with our herd. And obviously, it just wouldn't be fair to her to throw her out there with the rest of those large animals. Watching her watch the other animals walking all around her and she can't necessarily do that on her own. It kind of breaks my heart. I don't know if it breaks hers because she doesn't know any different. With all the animals that we have, we've seen them build friendships and relationships. We want to give her that same life. We have a blind calf and her name's Ellie. Uh, she has a C&I calf, Pumpkin, to kind of show her around. They were always kind of curious about Angel, but Angel just hasn't had the confidence in her little cart to play too much with Pumpkin, or Ellie for that matter. Best case scenario, Angel will be kind of their third wheel. As long as she's not super comfortable in her cart and is relatively small, it's just not an option to put her out with the big cows. Stay tight. Good night. Angel hasn't been outside for, gosh, probably six weeks now. With the weather we're having right now, you know, a foot of snow on the ground, it's not ideal for her. Being inside for this past winter, like all of us, she's getting antsy to get outside. She's almost doubled in size. She's at the point now, the first wheelchair just doesn't fit her as well. You are getting heavy. This afternoon, we'll be going to Iowa State um, to make her a fully customizable cart and one that she can hopefully grow into.
Compared to where Angel began without a cart to where she is now, that was a big comeback right away. But for us to be able to get her a customized cart that's gonna give her even more independence than she has now, I think that that's gonna be a huge comeback for her. Good. How are you doing today? Doing well. When I first saw Angel today, she looked great. I was very excited to see how bright she was. She looked strong. We want to get her into a new cart uh, sooner rather than later. Um, she probably could, you know, compensate in a smaller cart for a little bit longer, but might get so uncomfortable for her that we might have some diminishing returns. You know, she might not want to be in as much, so she might not be as active. My hope is that if we can get her into a cart that's a little bit higher, so she's in a little bit more of a normal position, she'll want to continue to keep moving. So the sooner we can correct her positioning and the sooner we can get her in her new wheels, um, you know, hopefully we'll be able to continue her activity levels. She's got a little snap somewhere. It's like she's like a model right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pessinator. Angel's been doing really well the past month. Hey, hey Boo. Look who came today. Look who we got. When we saw her new car get delivered, we were super excited. How does that feel? Compared to her first cart, the, the second cart is a much better fit. It is different in significant ways. The wheels can adjust more. New pads for where her legs go through. The same color pink just uh, it definitely fits her a lot better. Come on, Angel. It was probably, gosh, months before we ever heard her moo. <laughs> you don't even sound like a lady when you do that. She seems to be a lot more comfortable. She's definitely happy. With the weather being so cold here in Iowa, we haven't been able to get Angel out. It's finally getting into the 50s and finally the sun's coming out. So today we're planning on getting Angel outside with Pumpkin and Ellie. We're gonna get them into a small pasture area with some grass and we're gonna have them playing together. You could tell right away that she was more confident in getting around. There she is. Oh. When the cows rub their heads together, that's a sign of affection. You're being so sweet. You start licking her now, Angel? I think it'll be great for her to spend more time with Ellie and Pumpkin outside and in the sunshine rather than being cooped up in the house all day. This is a bit of a rough terrain here. What are we going to do? There you go, off-roading. Today, she was just so confident in her cart. It was like a whole new cow out there playing with Pumpkin and Ellie. Angel inspires me every day. She was dealt kind of a bad hand. And to see what she can do, it just makes me want to do more. And if nothing else, it makes me want to do better for her. Seeing the progress of where she started and where she is now, it's a good feeling knowing that we're giving her the best life possible that she could have. And so to see her be able to get out, walk through the grass, go through the mud, is evidence of her comeback and her having the most normal life that she possibly could. She'll get her time with the other animals that are like herself outside, and then she gets to come in and sleep in the luxury king-size bed at night. Such a beggar. So it really will be the best of both worlds for her. 